dear audience, uh, welcome back to another Learn With Us session. Uh, this one is a little special, to be honest, because uh, you are from Screen, who's going to talk about a lot of the great things that Screen does, um, is also a little bit concerned, to be honest, because this is a webinar where a Screen is going to introduce the, into the flexible market. And, and we, have, we have rehearsed and we have done our job as good as we can. But uh, Yuan, why don't you just uh, introduce yourself a little bit further in details and talk about what all the good things that you can do to, to the audience? Yeah, sure. First of all, thank you for inviting uh, us to this show. Uh, my technical background is in uh, chemistry and polymer science, uh, but over the last 20 years, I've developed my career in sales and marketing and uh, market development, product management for leading capital equipment and packaging machinery companies. Lately, I have been uh, heavily involved in the flexible packaging industry, helping converters to improve their production processes and a larger product portfolio with highly sophisticated packaging equipment for high barrier applications. This has given me a unique understanding of the challenges and opportunities faced by converters and brand owners alike. I'm passionate about making a difference in the flexible packaging world, and I work very closely with my clients to help them realize their vision in packaging by using the latest state-of-the-art packaging and printing machinery with innovative value-added processes. What attracted me to join Screen was the long heritage and well-established reputation in the graphic art, and their ambitions to accelerate the transition from analog to digital printing in the flexible packaging industry. My role as a business development director is to establish a strong presence for our new inkjet digital printing press, the PAC A30F, in this market. Also, an important part of my job is to form and develop strategic alliances with other stakeholders in the industry and join forces, join our collective, collective competences to provide innovative and robust solutions that address some of the issues and trends in flexible packaging like sustainability, waste reduction, and added value of printing. Very exciting times indeed. It sounds like uh, you are the perfect man for a, a job like uh, like this one. I mean, with the background and with everything you just mentioned, it's just perfect. Um, I think that uh, that Screen is in some segments of the printing industry a quite known company, and in other segments, maybe even in the flexible that you're working in, uh, not as known. So, can you introduce uh, Screen to those who should not know you? Yeah, sure. You know, I'll give you an overview as to what Screen does apart from uh, the graphic arts. Screen is a Japanese company with headquarters in Kyoto. Our roots go back to the year 1868 when Mr. Ishida uh, created a small print shop in that city. As an equipment manufacturing company, we have existed for over 75 years and today we are the uh, worldwide organization with a turnover in excess of 3 billion euro. We are producing, yeah, it's quite a significant uh, sizable business, as you can see. And we are producing cutting edge capital equipment and machinery based around three core technologies, digital sorry, direct imaging, image processing and surface processing. Screen's equipment is well regarded as solid built, robust and reliable engineering that produces consistent results time and time again and due to its stable and well controlled processes. Currently, our biggest division is the semiconductor uh, business producing ultra high tech machinery such as spin coaters and surface cleaners for the electronics industry. Let's take a quick look at this video. With the arrival of a true IoT-based society, semiconductors have become a key element in realizing a brighter future. They are continuously growing in both sophistication and variety. As well as global number one cleaning systems, we provide diverse solutions that underpin semiconductor production, including lithography, annealing, inspection, and measurement equipment. We have also built S-Cube 3, an innovative new factory that uses advanced automation to boost productivity and energy savings. 
Semiconductors are essential to an IoT society. In the graphic arts, we are the largest CTP equipment producer with approximately 25,000 units manufactured over the last 20 years. In recent times, our focus is shifting towards print on demand in the digital printing equipment for commercial printing and label it market. In the wide format corrugated market, we are represented by our sister company, Inca Digital in the UK. Some, some may have actually uh, heard of this company who have been a member of the screen group since 2005. Here's another short video for our audience. Since our founding, we have sought to enrich people's lives by supporting advances in the printing industry. We use direct imaging technologies to develop high-speed inkjet presses and CTP systems that consistently lead the global market. Created some 25 years ago, our Hiragino fonts now appear in smartphones and many other applications. Direct mail and catalogs, books, labels and packages. These are all essential to our daily lives. Through these materials, we help consumers to enjoy new experiences. Screen is not just involved in the manufacture of hardware. Other divisions include software development involving solutions such as artificial intelligence, augmented reality, and big data analytics. As you can see, Morten, we are much more than just an inkjet uh, digital printing equipment manufacturer. And that is, uh, of course, good to know because that gives also the customer security for when working with screen. Even though you're entering into a new business area, this is uh, absolutely uh, something where you, they can feel, everybody can feel comfortable about that. Um, you and I was just wondering uh, because, I mean, with all that variations and all that um, uh, technology you can deliver, why did you as a company choose to go into the flexible packaging industry? Well, we have been developing inject digital printing systems for all the main segments in the packaging industry, from commercial printing to labels, corrugated boards, and lately uh, folding carton. The next natural step for Screen was to leverage our ex extensive know-how and uh, develop an inject digital printing platform for the flexible packaging, but using food-safe water-based inks. We're not talking about small printing units. These are large single pass inject digital printing systems that can deliver industrial levels of productivities and the ability to print many thousands of short run jobs per year. In other packaging segments like the labels or the corrugated board, we have already seen that converters started their digital transformation journey with a small toner based digital printing press working at a very low speed just to test the market. But then when they needed a more robust and reliable digital printing platform to increase speed and performance, they quickly moved into inject digital. The flexible packaging industry has just begun its digital transformation into printing and screens and visions are to become a prominent global player for our new pack A30F inject digital press to help converters take the full advantage and the benefits of digital printing, but at an industrial scale. Mm. Um, again, uh, very interesting. Um, I can't help think about with the, uh, uh, I mean, because as you s established when uh, when we started in the in the introduction, you have a a, a very wide background in in, the, in this industry, and I was I was I was thinking that also uh, when it comes to uh, entering into the flexible market, uh, there must be some drivers and some things that are particular interesting for uh, your potential customers to know, right? Yeah, today we live in an ultra competitive commercial environment and the average run length for flexible packaging is decreasing. That is a fact. If you look at the average product mix order intake over the last five years, brand owners have been demanding shorter turnaround times with a higher degree of product diversification with more SKUs and versioning to satisfy their needs for promotional campaigns, seasonal products and more relevant content. That means lower volume quantities of printed films but order more frequently, what we commonly call the show runs. Mm. They also expect packaging converters to have a printing operation with the flexibility uh, to rapidly produce samples to test the market, reduce their inventories with just-in-time delivery and the agility to satisfy urgent jobs immediately. Indeed, the packaging industry is evolving. 
Product packaging is seen as an extension to the brand, another platform to communicate directly with consumers and offer them a more personal experience. As you know, personalization and mass customization in packaging significantly increases the ability to capture consumers' attention on the shelf. And the search of new technologies like digital printing is enabling brand owners to be more creative and to deliver a more personalized message through their packaging designs. Also, consumer attitudes and new legislation towards a more ethical and sustainable use of flexible packaging are driving the industry to pursue more environmentally friendly ways to produce and print packaging. In essence, pressure is increasing on traditional packaging producers to deliver smaller quantities of packaging material with shorter turnaround times, more cost effectively, and with a lower environmental impact. And that is challenging. So, uh, Johan, you are talking about some of the challenges about uh, everything that, that flexible packaging uh, converters are looking into. Um, I can't help think about that in some technologies, uh, like UV, for example, uh, it's a concern of, of migrations. It's, it's, a, it's a concern uh, for food safety and things like that. How is, I mean, how does you as a company differ in that approach using, for example, water-based? Because, I mean, it's also something about substrates. It's also about this kind of thing. So that is something that you manage, right? That, that's precisely what I say. It was actually, uh, it's a challenging thing to, to satisfy all these requirements from the brand owners and converters alike. So uh, to start with, you know, a UV uh, Q, uh, uh, digital printing is exist, exist and, and the, the food industry in general uh, doesn't actually accept this actually as a general uh, application for primary uh, food packaging. They might actually uh, uh, accept this sort of uh, technology for secondary uh, mm -hmm. food packaging, but not directly for uh, when, they, when the packaging is in direct contact with the, with the product. Uh, and secondly, it is challenging because existing traditional converters in the industry for flexible packaging, they are not geared to, to have the flexibility to uh, uh, to provide that uh, that sort of uh, agility in the delivery times, uh, in the in the uh, flexibility in the pre-press workflow, they're using uh, conventional analog printing processes, and to uh, uh, that designed to do medium to long runs. But the, the industry is actually shifting towards a shorter uh, volume of uh, printed film, and that's the reason why uh, flexible converters will have to adapt to the new trends in the market. If you look at digital printed packaging and that's been around in the market for some years, uh, what is the current status if you, if, from your perspective? Yes, you're right. It has been uh, around for a number of years and there has been a slow gradual development of digital printing in flexible packaging, but mainly fueled by labor producing companies who have been working with digital printing presses over the last 10 years. They understood the front end benefits of operating in a digital workflow and wanted to diversify away from a labor market, which is reaching saturation point, to move into a more lucrative industry like the flexible packaging, seeking better margins. Over the same period, the industry has also witnessed the surge of few disrupting companies producing only digital printed flexible pouches aimed at the smaller brands. These are small printing shops with typically one or two toner based digital presses, 10 to 12 employees, producing pouches using very simple processes with a relatively low investment cost. You only need to printing, laminating, and pouch making equipment, but they're very flexible in their business model and they are delivering fast turnaround times. However, if you look at the actual volumes of digitally printed flexible packaging, that is still very small mm. and its growth rate is actually rather flat. It represents less than 1% of the total market. The main reason for this is actually is because Digital printing has not taken off in this market is due to the low productivity of digital printing machines that are already installed in, in, in the field. Okay, um, I get that. So um, if we look about, uh, I mean, because you, as you say, 1% is, is, uh, is digital right now. But if you look at the applications that are targeted by the uh, existing install base of digital presses, what, how does that look? Well, the profit opportunity and advantages of digital printing are well understood by both converters and brand owners. Other benefits of digital printing, speed to market and design freedom have also captivated the industry. Mm -hmm. However, the intrinsic low speed delimitation of these toner based digital presses that are currently being used has largely limited the scope of and range of applications where digital can be applied. 
The vast majority of the digital printed flexible packaging produced currently in the market is used for ultra short runs production in low volume market, limited edition campaigns to celebrate specific events, new product launches and production of mock-ups and sell samples to test the market. There has also been a number of promotional and seasonal campaigns aimed at attracting consumers' attention with a more relevant marketing content and personalization features. If you look at the traditional flexible packaging converters with, I mean, those that, who already have analog uh, uh, equipment, um, uh, if they want to get a taste into digital, how, how, should they, uh, how should they progress with that? A reduced number of innovative flexible packaging converters have invested in digital printing equipment to try to understand the value of this technology for their own market in, a, in an attempt to resolve also some of the operational issues associated with conventional analog printing processes like CI flexo, gravure, and in some small cases, offset. Some have invested in low productivity toner based digital presses too, and they have seen the advantages of printing in digital the pre press workflow, the handles of the files and data, shorter lead times, color management, and quick setup times without expensive tooling rapid artwork design changes in the last minute, etc. However, when they finally achieve some traction in the market, the very low productivity of these systems prevented them from growing the market even further. It left them with a sweet bitter taste. Like some of my clients commented, they view this small tunnel digital printing machine as toys due to the low production speed of around 18 to 20 meters per minute. And this and this has been the real limitation in the expansion of digital printing and the flexible packaging. These converters are now seeking higher level of uh, productivity, industrial size digital printing machines to really advance their developments in digital printing and greatly increase the flexibility in their printing operations. Mm. So if I understand you right, uh, I mean, there is a lot of machines in the market already uh, in digital and especially toner based. Uh, and what I understand from you is basically that that sweet bitterness that you referred to before is basically that as the demand is growing for lower volume and for faster turnaround times, these machines can't really deliver as as expected. Um, how many inkjet presses do you believe that are currently operating in the in the flexible marketing market today? Because I'm trying to understand. I mean, because obviously you go into this market because it is a business opportunity. But but how many? How is the comp competitive situation right now? Yeah, you're you're right. That the business opportunity is actually quite significant. Uh, but there have been uh, very few inkjet uh, presses so far installed in, in this market. The vast majority of inkjet systems currently produced in flexible packaging are typically hybrid configurations, which enable converters to get a foot in the market. Uh, but they do not get the full benefits of a 100% inkjet digital printing engine. There are some significant trade-offs to be made if you choose a hybrid platform. Mm -hmm. Converters recognize the advantage of digital printing and the front end uh, and how easy it is to automate the pre-press workflow for inkjet digital printing, uh, but they now want more. They want more productivity, they want more flexibility with a full inkjet digital engine, including a digital Y, that's important. Extended color gamut, higher resolution, more, more, more. The market is waiting for the next generation of digital printing systems for flexible packing to deliver a higher level of performance, productivity, and print quality. That sounds always, always good. I know that. It's great. <laughs> but what does that mean? Uh, I mean, from a brand owner's perspective, because I mean, one thing is that we talk about uh, the quality and tone. I think that some brand owners, they may not be very interested whether it's toner or or inkjet, they just want the finished result. But so what does this mean to the brand owners in your perspective? Well, brand owners clearly understand the value proposition of digital printing can bring to the flexible packaging market. They, they like the speak to market, the design flexibility that they can have, and they are prepared to shift from spot to process colors. But oh. they are yet to be fully convinced that the current digital printing platforms in the market can deliver this color transition consistently and reliably throughout the entire production run length. They demand just-in-time delivery for the flexible packing to lower their inventory costs and reduce waste in obsolete packaging. They enjoy the flexibility to make last-minute changes to their marketing communication messages to stay up-to-date in their content, particularly in a hyper-competitive market driven by social media these days. And they also want to take advantage of the variable data printing for mass customization 
and a wider use of QR codes for consumer engagement campaigns. Brand owners are prepared to accept technology interchangeability, providing that the outcome will have indistinguishable print quality on the supermarket shelves. All the things that you have talked about until now seems to me be a little bit like a lead into the next generation of, uh, I mean, because we have we have tried to understand the market, we have tried the technology, we have tried to understand also the, the requirements from the from the end customers, uh, the brand owners and the, and the companies. So um, we have to talk a little bit about the requirements in the next generation. Yeah, well, uh, historically, uh, printing in flexible packaging has traditionally been dominated by analog printing process like flexography, rotor review, and offset. All these printing technologies are designed for medium to long runs with very high setup costs, long make ready times, producing a significant amount of waste and not being very environmentally friendly. Analog printing technologies are not able to produce short runs cost effectively, so converters are still searching for a suitable printing system that can deliver the rapidly growing amount of small volume orders easily and more profitably. We have already discussed the, the first attempts of the industry to resolve this issue with low speed, low productivity toner digital printing units, but they have only been able to save a very narrow section of the market. The ultra short runs of 1,000, 2,000 meters and uh, limited edition campaigns. But the market still requires an industrial sized digital printing press that can deliver the full promise of the digital transformation for the mainstream flexible uh, packaging applications. We're talking about uh, high productivity digital printing systems capable of producing a higher number of short runs per day, anything from zero to 4,000 to 6,000 meters in a much more cost-effective way than traditional analog printing with a faster job turnaround times. Mm. And um, uh, that makes perfect sense. I'm just wondering um, if, I mean, also, I mean, of course, your screen has uh, has uh, a lot of uh, advantages of knowing uh, other segments of the industry. And I was just wondering um, the adaption of uh, new technologies in other packaging segments. Do you think that it will be a help for you in uh, in in uh, in accepting uh, screen as a new supplier in the flexible segment? Yeah, well, undoubtedly, inject technology with the rapid development of more high performance and reliable print head hardware together with the advancement of software management mm. systems have made this technology the number one choice in the market. That's clear. Inject is a is much more scalable printing technology where static print heads are jetting billions of drops of nanoparticles of ink onto a fast moving substrate. The accurate uh, dot placement and image formation is carefully controlled by a highly sophisticated software. Inject is a non-contact printing mm -hmm. process with few moving parts driving the printing engine, which fulfills one of the principal basic engineering principles for ease of process scalability. The less moving parts that you have, the easier it is to scale up the process. That's, that's uh, everybody understand that. As an initial proposition, Screen's new pack A30F works at 75 meters per minute with all colors and a maximum print, uh, printing width of 830 millimeters. However, as inject technology and software integration systems develop, we envisage that future generation models will be faster, above 100 meters per minute and wider than uh, 1000 millimeters. This is incredibly difficult to achieve on toner-based digital printing system that will be inevitably left behind for mock-ups preparation and ultra short runs only. We have seen this trend happening in the label and um, corrugated board market, where inject printing has surpassed toner-based models when the industry requires a significant increase in productivity and volumes to target mainstream applications. So the key here is actually the, the, in the, the ability to produce uh, industrial size of uh, productivity. Mm. Um, you mentioned the, the Pack 830F a couple of times, and I think that you referred to that uh, platform that you announced last year. Um, can you talk a little bit more about uh, what what this platform does for flexible packaging converters and, and, and that technology that you're presenting? Indeed. You know, we are very excited to introduce the new TruePress uh, Pack A30F. This is a fit-for-purpose inject digital printing press designed for cost-effective production of short runs with a total output of 4,500 meters per hour and able to handle a much higher number of jobs per day than conventional analog presses. You've got the minimum setup time, less waste, 
no tooling is required, high machine up uh, uptime, it's fast and accurate color matching, and all the benefits of the digital prepress workflow. This unit yields a low total cost of ownership for its intended scope of applications. The different sections of this state-of-the-art equipment are highlighted on this diagram. Starting from the unwinder, uh, the film undergoes a surface preparation stage where an ink receptive primer is applied to improve ink addition. We're talking about water-based inks, so we need to actually prepare the surface of the, the film. Next, the substrate goes over the inkjet digital printing engine. It's a 100% digital uh, engine on a non-contact printing process. Then the printed image is actually passed through a gentle drying process that will ensure image preservation and efficiently dries up the ink while keeping a tight temperature, temperature control over the substrate. Finally, the high quality image is fully inspected with our jet, jet inspection system before it ends on the rewinder. The pack a 30 f reverse prints on BOPP and polyester films using food safe water-based inks at the speed of 75 meters per minute with a 100% digital printing engine consistent of CMYK plus a specially designed heavy white print head for high levels of opacity. This revolutionary digital press houses piezo inkjet drop on demand print heads of the highest print resolution, 1200 by 1200 DPI. All in all, this innovative industrial inkjet digital press is set to disrupt the flexible packaging market with its production capabilities and balanced performance. Um, I understand speed. I understand productivity. And I also hear you say uh, quality uh, uh, numerous times during your presentation here, Juan. Um, I'm just wondering, I mean, of course, uh, uh, quality is a major important thing for everybody. And if you look back at digital some years ago, it may, may not uh, be very impressive. And, and, and people that are watching this, uh, this uh, conversation here, I'm just wondering, uh, can you elaborate a little bit on, on the quality issues here? Yeah, that's a very good question. Uh, to start with, converters will be able to enjoy the front end benefits of uh, a digital prepress workflow. Uh, and this is the beginning uh, of their journey in the digitalization of packaging. You know, you need to start from the data, from how you handle the files uh, and, and how you actually manage the prepress workflow. Uh, and preparing a file to print in digital format is much quicker and easier to process than for analog. Our Equios pre-press workflow will do the color separation and color management. And once the color is transferred into data, it's much easier to achieve color proving and color matching, matching consistently time and time again using our India digital technology. In addition, our India digital platform will enable a widespread shift to process colors thanks to the combination of our wide, wide color gamut uh, water-based inks and a very innovative pre-press workflow with complex image screen software that would allow interchangeability of printing processes, digital to analog and vice versa, result, resulting in indistinguishable packaging print quality on the shelf, which is exactly what the brand owners are, are, are seeking. Mm -hmm. uh, Morten, the, the feedback that we have received from the market on the print quality of the samples that we have initially produced on our pack A30F has been exceptional. Leading traditional flexible packaging converters have been very impressed with the outstanding image sharpness, the high opacity level that our digital Y produces, the smoother gradients to zero, and the elements of type registration. They believe screens inject digital uh, printing know-how and image screening capabilities uh, coupled with our software's innovation will deliver like-for-like -like print quality. And that's actually the key for the success in this project. I'm just wondering, when you talk as a company, when you talk about these new production capabilities, is what is that? Well, uh, early on, we spoke about the frustration that uh, toner-based printing units have left to many early adopters of digital printing in flexible packaging, primarily due to the low productivity. We have also touched on uh, Injet being a much more reliable and scalable technology that enables productivity closer to analog printing processes, and that's true. Mm. But in addition, Injet digital printing presses have also have a higher machine uptime compared to other technologies, which can also boost productivity. Our pack A30F has been specifically designed to produce 
short printing runs in a cost-effective manner at 75 meters per minute, and the ability to print up to 20 to 20 jobs per day, depending on your uh, product mix. And this would enable converters not only to relieve the analog printing processes from the tedious and time-consuming task of producing small volume jobs, but also it would open up a window of opportunity to create more innovative products and take on jobs that could not have been profitable using the analog presses. Mm -hmm. We have described some of the many advantages of our new inject digital printing platform for the flexible packaging, but there must be too a clear economical case for this technology to, add, to accelerate its adoption rate in a traditionally conservative market. At the screen, we have developed a total cost of ownership model that compares the running costs and production capabilities of our new PAC A30F to existing analog printing processes, namely CF Flex on review. We can demonstrate these clear profit opportunities and the crossover zone where digital meets analog with our TCO model. From a flexible perspective and with the PAC A30F, is uh, the the are your is is your platform ready to not just be an add-on to a uh, packaging converter or is it also in 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 a position where it can start replacing? Well, we are we are the uh, infancy of uh, this digital transformation in flexible packaging. Other uh, segments of the packaging industry are much more advanced into uh, the adoption of digital uh, printing. For so flexible packaging, is still very uh, early days. And, and certainly on the initial propositions, uh, uh, inject digital printing will not uh, compete, will not replace uh, analog, existing analog printing presses. It's rather a, a it's an add-on. It's actually it will fill in a gap at the moment that the, the market is shifting towards a shorter and shorter uh, run lengths, and the analog printing uh, processes are struggling to 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 produce this uh, new uh, trend in the market. Uh, cost effectively uh, and providing a, a decent profit. Uh, mm. Sometimes converters, they have to do that at a loss. So mm. digital printing uh, fits very nicely to actually uh, take away that uh, initial uh, uh, narrow part of the market. And then I'm sure that as the technology develops, you know, and we will uh, achieve higher speed uh, production speed rates and, and we can actually do wider uh, platforms, then obviously we will be able to actually progressively uh, substitute some of these uh, machines for existing applications, but it's still very early days. Mm. And that ties of tie, of course, into the the question that that I have now is that, for example, um, because if you are in a, in a in a converter where have you have digital, and and I'm I'm thinking about a little bit about the 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 operational impact, just following up on the curve that you, we have shown with the. Uh, with where uh, the pack eight thirty f fits into the economy of of production um, how, how how what is your view on that one well the, there will be a positive impact in two different ways mm -hmm. first due to its higher uh, level of productivity the new pack a thirty f can bring all the small volume jobs of a converter you now they can move all the short runs to this digital printing press at a much lower uh, cost base than analog printing, you know, and, and they can increase the, the profitability. This machine will allow, will have a spare capacity also to increase market share by accepting more short runs orders in the market with very low uh, minimum order quantity that previously would have been rejected as non-profitable. Now they can go after smaller boutique brands and more complex jobs and produce them profitably. Yeah. And secondly, Moving all the small printing jobs to the new industrial inject digital press would generate additional spare capacity in a higher utilization rate on their existing analog presses to do more of the medium and long runs, increasing the overall profitability of the company in these two different ways. Mm. We can see in this uh, graphical illustration that the transformation in the production schedule to gain efficiencies before and after after the, the incorporation of, uh, of uh, PAC A30F. But what we say here is that the message to the converters would be future proof your printing shop flow against unexpected changes in the market trends with the new PAC A30F to work alongside with your existing analog printing presses, flex or review, for, bet, for a better equip, well configured printing operations to deal with sudden peaks in demand, uncertain market conditions, and gain additional market share from your competitors. That's what yeah. it's all about.
Yeah. Uh, you are, uh, you are, I think your presentation has touched upon uh, some of the things that, of course, a business owner uh, would, would consider uh, before investing in machine like uh, the technology, the quality, the profitability, the setup time, all the obstacles uh, that you also described in, 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 uh, in what uh, Screen is addressing with the Pack 830F. Um, if you are a uh, flexible uh, packaging converter and you're thinking about going into this, is there things that we perhaps not see uh, immediately as advantages of investing in digital? Yeah, sure. There are many intangible benefits of having an inkjet digital printing in your printing shop floor. The combined all represent a clear differentiated service offering for brand owners. At the screen, we work. We are working on facilitating the interchangeability between digital and analog at the pre-press workflow stage, so that jobs can be printed uh, using either technology, digital or analog. Having the right printing machinery configuration, including our Pack A30F inkjet digital press, would allow converters to offer enhanced services and provide more flexibility in their delivery times. For example, urgent jobs can be fresh printed digitally with a quick turnaround in less than 10 days. And then the rest of the job can be printed using an existing analog printing press for a second shipment several weeks later. So you're offering a, a two uh, way service, you know, short time delivery with a digital printing press and then complete the rest of the job with your existing uh, analog presses. Mm -hmm. Time to market and speed of response is also viewed as a massive competitive advantage. An agile inject digital press can help converters win over additional profitable business due to its ability to produce mock-ups by quickly changing the artwork and test the market and reduce risk on new product launches. It also facilitates a delivery on demand model to reduce inventory, offering a clearly differentiated value added service to brand owners. And then we have the digitalization of uh, flexible packaging which opens up the door to develop innovative e-commerce B2C platforms where the selling process and pre-press steps are fully automated. Files can be simply uploaded on your website with pouch format dimensions and some other basic package design details. And an order can be placed on online for the exact number of pouches required. Then the digital front end uh, will, uh, will handle the pre-press workflow and send the files to the screen digital press using our Equios system. Uh, and, and getting things right first time um, proving is so much easier uh, done in digital. So at the end of the day, two to three weeks later, the patches will be delivered to your online clients on their doorstep. Which is what we all want. We want fast deliveries, high quality, and, and we also want our converters to make money, right? And that, that's the, the disruptive power of inject digital printing. You know, you can actually mm -hmm. change your uh, business model and innovate, you know, create something new that other people are not actually uh, have not considered. Mm. I can't help think about uh, also when you, when you, uh, when you say water-based, uh, I, I, I hear sustain, sustainability and I hear environmental friendly. Is that something that uh, is true or <laughs> is it just, I mean, how, how is it that when we talk about, because I mean, the environmental issues have been top of the agenda for, for a lot of people these years. So, so uh, how does your machine fit into this, uh, this uh, mantra? Yeah, well, sustainability is, is not a joke, you know, uh, screen uh, holds a sustainability very high in, in the priority list when it comes to designing any new digital printing equipment like the PAC A30F unit. To start with, uh, digital printing mm, produces less waste, less ink and substrate waste during make ready time. It's not solving waste due to regular cleaning between jobs, no plate making or heavy cylinder uh, storage and disposal. Mm -hmm. uh, digital printing allows for a just in time delivery so there is no overproduction or obsolete stock to be wasted. And finally, we aim to also meet the industry latest requirements for packaging recyclability. We also see an increase in demand for monomaterial packaging structures and our pack A30F can produce or can provide an eco-friendly printing process to help reduce the CO2 emissions. We see a lot of uh, players, a lot of converters that are actually targeting to be uh, become CO2 uh, zero uh, or neutral carbon uh, emissions. So our inks are water-based and eco-friendly, avoiding the exposure of printing operators to harmful solvents 
to protect their health and safety and to drastically reduce the use of volatiles. Uh, let's not forget that in the flexible packaging industry, around 80% of the food printed packaging is still done using solvent-based uh, inks, either flexo or gravure printing. Mm. So moving into uh, the industry with a water-based uh, ink, uh, which is food safety uh, approval, it was the right decision. Mm. Uh, uh, one of the things I, could, I am particularly interested in, uh, in before we're having the final takeaways from this session, I can't help think about, don't you think that uh, the Pack 830F is so easy to use and so flexible and this quality that you talk about, so, so some, some of the converters that might have both analog and digital, they will move more jobs to the digital because it's just better, faster and easier. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's actually part of the intangible. We, we, we saw that uh, in the, you, you probably have seen that in the commercial printing, uh, but certainly uh, at screen, we also have seen that trend in labels and corrugated. Once a converter have a taste of the digital, uh, of the advantages of digital, the, the fast uh, uh, reaction time, the ability to actually change the, the uh, art design in, in, in the last minute, the ability to group jobs, you know, and to do a job change on the fly. When they see, when they put all these uh, uh, things together, and, and the fact that they obviously they don't need to train their operators to be highly skillful in, in printing, they, they just need to actually get uh, some, they need to be digitally minded. When you, they put all these advantages together, it's a clear, it's a clear uh, thing. They, they start moving more and more jobs to the digital printing press because it's so much easier to do. Mm. Fantastic. Uh, Johan, uh, we need to talk about, you know, we have to end this. So, sooner or later, we have to stop this conversation. Yeah, yeah. for me, it's actually the, 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 the content. Uh, we, we're trying to provide the, the viewers with uh, some uh, useful takeaway and some, some food for thought. Uh, around uh, India digital printing for flexible packaging. And as a final summary, I would like to state that India digital printing is not trying to compete with conventional analog printing processes, not now. Uh, on the contrary, this is scalable technology fills in the gap in your production operations and serves as a flexible and agile printing process to complement existing analog uh, presses, which are designed for medium to long runs. India digital printing can take away the pain of producing the small quantities of printed films with a higher degree of variability in a more cost-effective manner, increasing your company profitability. Flexible packaging converters do have a choice now. They either continue investing in the same all analog printing processes, more of the same, or they can take a more innovative approach to differentiate themselves from the crowd, embracing the disruptive power of India digital printing and leaving the packaging market in its digital transformation. They say that there are horses for courses and choosing the right printing technology for the right uh, run length and the application will no doubt determine the profitability. Thank you, Morten. <laughs> I think it was my pleasure, <laughs> and, uh, but, but, you're, but, but you're not, but you're not getting off the hook that easy. I have, an, I have a question for you, at least one question. Um, when I look at uh, the graph where you have the cost comparison, screen pack H30F versus the CI Flex or worse, gravure printing and flexible packaging, uh, I can't help think about that. Normally when you have digital, you see a quite, I mean, especially if it's toner based and click based, then you have a very linear curve in, in cost basically, right? In, uh, in, in your example here, actually you have a lot run length in meters and then you have a cost in euro per square meter as, as the x and y axis and what i couldn't help think about is obviously in that graph you have a very huge advantage in the in the in the smaller print run as you have also said during the session but i can't help think about that when you even come to the to the the longer uh, print runs actually not that big difference in uh, in these three technologies. Is that something where it, it is actually pushing the limits of where digital can take it also volume-wise? Uh, well, as you can see in the graph, you know, what we have seen is actually uh, digital is not completely linear. At the beginning, there is actually a, a minimum uh, setup times and, and a certain amount of ways. All the uh, toner-based uh, digital uh, printing models are different and probably they're more flatter, but they will be much higher uh, than our system yes. in, in, the, in the graph. So we actually quickly gone down 
Uh, and you can see it actually becomes really flat as we go along because it's actually highly uh, dependent on the ink consumption and the ink usage, depending on the on the artwork that you use. Uh, but what you have to see is actually that we have designed that uh, TCO model to compare digital versus uh, flex on review on the production of short uh, run length. When you go to medium uh, and long uh, runs, there is no question that uh, we can the digital cannot compete yet with flex or review. I mean, we, if you expand that graph, you will see that the, the difference actually uh, will be, be yeah. quite, uh, that graph is actually the yeah. review and, and uh, flex will come right down. And, and because they are designed to do so, they're designed to actually, yeah. uh, to, they will have an initial high setup cost and set that time, but then once you keep them going, they can go uh, for a long time. And that is actually where converters can actually make their profit. Mm. Um, makes sense. Uh, another question I also have is, um, if you look at current customers, um, because we have talked about, I mean, uh, with, all, with all due respects, being a bit of a, not a theory, but it's kind of your presentation of, of uh, takeaways from, from, uh, from your understanding of the market, your your skills and, and background, and uh, and of course the machines itself, the customers are already invested in screen uh, flexible packaging. Have you got any good takeaways? Because I mean, I if you invest in new things, sometimes you get surprises by wow, we actually made more money on this, or we got completely new customers, or uh, it, it gave us new opportunities to to develop new things that we didn't even think of before. Have you any takeaways in 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 in, in this area? Yeah, like I said at the beginning, uh, we're still uh, early days, you know, in, in this digital transformation of flexible packaging. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have seen, obviously, the, the and we are trying to uh, be quite honest with our clients and, uh, and portraying uh, digital as it is, you know, and the advantages and the areas where we believe this uh, our technology and our platform can actually provide uh, a significant competitive advantage and profitability. Because again, mm -hmm. It's got to be a very strong profit case, and we're working with our clients to actually demonstrate that, and, and for them to see the, the the window of opportunity that they can have in front of them, you know, by incorporating this this digital printing press to work in conjunction with their existing printing analog systems. So uh, yes, uh, there is a, still a lot of dial dialogue in the in the background, and uh, but our customers can see uh, that we are able to match if not exceed the print quality of analog with our uh, water-based ink inkjet uh, digital printing. And that's actually been uh, quite reassuring for, for us in the market. The print, we are getting the, the print quality right. And that uh, our customers recognize. Uh, when in, your, in your presentation, you mentioned that, that PA, uh, PAC uh, A30F is a platform. Uh, to me, sometimes a platform also sounds like that is a huge commitment from screen to develop more products and services in this segment of the so is the platform just a starting point uh, yes i mean uh, screen has invested uh, the last four years you know in, in uh, heavily in our r d uh, project to actually deliver this this what we call a platform because at the beginning this is actually the first model that we we have launched for the flexible packaging industry and from then on it will evolve into uh, possibly a range of, of, of machinery and, and other uh, added value uh, services that they can we can provide. But at the moment, we, we see that as a platform. It's at the beginning of the journey, and we're trying to demonstrate that the, the real advantage of our PAC A30F and the huge uh, uh, profit benefit that they can actually create for a converter. From then on, that platform will allow us to develop uh, further models in, in the future. You and uh, it must be uh, quite exciting for you to be a part of this journey. I mean, from what you have been uh, telling this uh, this in this session, uh, it seems that you are in a, in on a journey where you are disrupting uh, the the flexible packaging industry. That must be exciting. Yes, uh, it's, it really is exciting. You know, I come from the uh, background in the analog uh, world of uh, the flexible packaging industry, and, and I see uh, the future is going to be digital. So. Uh, being part of this uh, journey with the screen, uh, uh, it would allow me to actually uh, serve the market with more innovation, with added value uh, processes. Uh, and it's always exciting to be at the forefront of technology. Well, I hope you will be successful. I'm sure you will, but uh, thank you again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day. 
see uh, wasn't this a wonderful session um it's uh, actually been a, a, a if as Jean said to me it was, if it wasn't because I changed shirt and I I got a corona haircut uh, the other day uh, everybody would have assumed that it was a live session and uh, the advantage of actually having a, a pre-recorded session like we did today is that I can see that uh, Yuan he has been very active in answering all the questions and he could probably not do that if you were doing the presentation live so it also has its advantages uh, and as we are uh, still in um, we still have some time before we are having the next session which is with Eric van Sloten from Movent um, if there's any questions, uh, feel free to ask uh, Ewan about that. Uh, I will keep the chat open for the next five, six, seven minutes. And in the meanwhile, I will just play um, a little, uh, two little videos we did. Uh, one is generic about this event, and the other one is specifically to uh, Ewan's uh, presentation. So um, thank you for participating in this uh, session here. I think it was a... A uh, wonderful session, and uh, I would say that the uh, the, the hardworking journalist he did his work right. Ah, just kidding. <laughs>